Good morning everybody. Kilt here. It is morning of day 126. Slightly delayed start this morning. GW and I. That is because last night two knees woke me up about 10 o'clock saying that he was going to hike down to the road and go into the hospital to the ER. He believes he's got a kidney stone or has kidney stones. He had a hard time going to the bathroom. It is not due to dehydration. We are very hydrated. Him and I both drink liters upon liters of water all day, every day. So he grabbed his basic essentials that he needed. Headlamp, phone, all that stuff, battery pack. And he pushed out last night at 10 o'clock to do just over two miles, two and a half miles down to the road and was going into the hospital. I have not heard from him. G-Dub has not heard from him. We've packed his stuff up and I'll show you here in a second. We are tag teaming, carrying his gear down. And uh, we are not gonna push through on a hike today. We're gonna go catch up with him and see what's going on and see what we can do. So today is uh, gonna be a little bit different, but we are getting down to the road this morning. And luckily there's not a climb, but there is a lot of roots and rocks. I haven't found the mud yet, but we'll find it before the road, I'm sure. So, other than that, good morning everybody. And uh, we're moving north on the Appalachian Trail. We're just going to take a detour today, which is more important than the trail, is taking care of family. So, I'll get you spun around, let you look at G-Dub, pack mule in. Tunis' gear. Fortunately enough, we had a group of younger gentlemen through hiking also at the shelter with us last night. They are helping burden the load by grabbing the tent and poles and food bag. So GW and I just are gonna split the rest and carry the gear down and out. So if that sounds interesting, sit back, type your cup of coffee off, and enjoy the rest of the video. We'll see you guys down trail. You doing all right, G-Dub? Yep. I think by the time we get down to the road, we're gonna give Toonies a shakedown of his gear, which you really need. <laughs> yeah. All right, your bag's too heavy. You gotta get rid of some stuff. Why don't we just sell it? Oh, there we go, eBay. Yeah, put it on eBay. Ooh, hiker gear goes for a lot right now. Yeah, yeah. Some of it's at a premium, I bet. He does have some nice stuff. I mean, that, that ULA bag's brand new. That'll fetch a good penny. I'm glad it's down here. Nah, we're just joking, Tunis. We wouldn't sell your gear. I'd give it away first. All right, we're gonna focus on the trail. See you guys at the road. I'm good on water. Power line view. And there's the road. Right there. There we go. Sherpa style. His pack, 
on top of my pack. Oh, Sherpa. That's for you, Tunis. I think you owe G-Dub and I frosty beverage or a glass of bourbon and scotch. Just because you went to the hospital and couldn't go pee doesn't mean you get off scot-free. Just kidding. No, he's not. He's <laughs> serious. G-Dub wants, wants that glass of scotch. Not just a glass. I want a fifth. <laughs> Talisters, please. Uh, good weather this morning. Goodness for that. Uh, dry conditions. Trails are dry. We have not seen that swear word that begins with an M, that three letter word, so far. Thank goodness. Just roots and rocks and pretty, pretty level-ish terrain. There's only been the one slight climb I just did. Other than that, it's just been a little roller here. So we're doing all right. We're making good time carrying gear. And uh, we have heard back from two knees. He is in the ER still. Whoop, as I trip on a route myself. He said that he, he passed or they got two stones so far, but he has not seen the doctor yet this morning. He's still in an ER bed, but he's up. He's feeling better. So that's the positive. And uh, he told us what town he's in. So now when we get to the trailhead, we'll figure out how to get over there. Not sure exactly what we're gonna do because they probably won't let us in the hospital anymore still because of this COVID stuff. You know how they roll. But at least we'll be in the area and can get him his gear and go from there, figure out what we're gonna do. And uh, G-Dub and I will probably just get, find a quick place to stay and uh, figure it out. But right now, we're still working down the mountain. I just had to show you Sherpa style. And uh, that we have heard back from Tunis. So let me show you another shot of the trail and I'm gonna put you all the way so I don't fall down. All right, here you go. All right, we're going up now, putting you away. Here we are at the top of the climb, finally. Still playing Sherpa. We got the morning sun rising to the east over here. Not much of a view with the woods. A couple mountain ranges right there. Trail north. Looking west. Can't really see anything. You can hear the road because we're under a mile under a mile out. But I'll just show you what I can show you. Being a short day and carrying twice gear. So we are gonna we are gonna take a Nero today. We're gonna go into town, grab a hotel, and uh Tunis is gonna get a ride from the hospital and meet up with us. They did say he's gonna get released. And as of right now, he has passed two kidney stones. Not sure what it's from yet. It's like he told the doc, and doc said, not dehydration, so. Well, if it's nothing else, this journey is more than just a hike. That's a fact.
And if anybody watching would like to go watch or see Toonies' channel, he actually has his own channel. It is Gary Toonies Daily. Because he got two brand new he had double knee surgery. And that's D-A-I-L-E-Y and Gary with a G. So Gary Toonies Daily is his YouTube channel. You should recognize his profile picture. And uh, go check him out. Show him some love and support. If you want to see the other side of this journey. Because we're all together. And I can hear the road. So on the brighter side, let's see, the shelter last night. Shelter was awesome. Shelter was really cool. Slept great. Didn't get up once. Until this morning. And then, uh, weather was absolutely beautiful. It was like 53 or something, 55. Actually needed, <laughs> needed the quilt last night to cover up. So it was perfect sleeping weather. No humidity, no bugs. So, definitely enjoyed that. And now we're heading down. All right, it's real steep right through here, so I'm gonna put you away for now. Well, we made it. This is US 11 and 30 in Vermont. Man, it's still weird to say Vermont. Come on, lighten up. We're gonna cross this main highway with this gear, go over there, across the street, you can't see it, to a parking lot. And uh, wait for G-Dub and get a shuttle. All right, let's get across this highway, it's busy. We're going right over there, so there we are, Appalachian, Long Trail, parking, Green Mountain Forest. We'll snap a picture of that in a minute. All right, well, we made it to the Hampton Inn, got to the trailhead, and there was already somebody there picking up, uh, dropping off another hiker. We actually just locked out and got Trail Angel Luck and um, got, a, got a shuttle, free shuttle, down here to town, to the hotel. Um, they had rooms. We got a room at the Hilton, or no, the, yeah, the Hilton. What is this? Hampton. Hampton. The Hampton Inn. And uh, we're set, we're just waiting on two D's now. He's about to get released from the hospital and he's gonna get a shuttle over here. In the meantime, we're just gonna get a quick shower, get changed and wait for him and then do the typical town stuff. Yeah, it's a day or so early, but who doesn't appreciate a good town day when you can get one? Other, you know, we wish it was under different circumstances. So anyway, we're here. Uh, they do have a pool and a hot tub. We may take advantage of the soak in the hot tub. We all could use a good, Good hot water soak and uh, just relax the muscles. Other than that, we got no plans. Just gonna rest and relax and enjoy the day while we're here. Just to give you an update, let you know where we're at and what's going on. Uh, and I'll get back with you when we do end of day wrap up. See you in a little while. All right, we just, uh, came in the town real quick. We stopped back in at the Outfitter to get a card for a shuttle driver. Just wanted to do a quick pan of the Mountain Goat Outfitters here in town. They're the ones that repaired our poles the other day. 
and they have got everything you could need for a through hiker. Awesome customer service, awesome selection of equipment. They got real shoes for hikers. Not really, not so much a souvenir shop, but our actual outfitter. Very nice. Just want to show you all that. So here's where we're staying, the Hampton Inn and Suites in Manchester, Vermont. Right inside there is their indoor pool and hot tub. I'll show you that here in a bit. A little pricey, but very, very nice establishment. Full continental breakfast, hot, everything. Hey, good evening everybody, and uh, welcome to an odd end of the day wrap up for day 126. As you can see, I'm sitting here in the hotel room. Tunis is back from the hospital, resting up like he should be, staying hydrated. So, the doc said he had, or what they thought and see, saw was two kidney stones, um, he either passed them or they're floating around somewhere in the system, but he's better now. Healed up. G Dub's resting over there, and uh, we're just kind of hanging out at the hotel here. We uh, went and had lunch and walked around town, went down to the outfitter, and just did a little bit of sightseeing, not much, but we're just resting. So, it, like I said, it was an unexpected Nero. It is actually my first medical Nero, I'm going to call it, because somebody went to the emergency room last night at yep. dark 30. But uh, you're not here for none of that nonsense. You just want to see the book. So, let me show you the book and show you the short, short Nero we did today. And uh, we'll get this closed up so we all can get some rest. We've already done laundry. Of course, we're in a hotel. We're going to do laundry. And we're already showered up. We're rested up, ready to go tomorrow morning. We're going to push on out, do a couple climbs. And I think we're doing a ski resort, so that'll be interesting. So here's the book and the wrap-up. So there is where GW and I started the morning out at Spruce Peak Shelter at mile 1651.2. And him and I sherpaed Mr. Tunis's gear down and out. And you can see it was pretty much just a nice, easy downhill. One little blip right there. Nothing major. Come down the back side to that. Do the power line and the footbridge and ended up right there at Vermont 11 and 30 Road. A mile marker 1654 on day 126 with a 2.8 mile medical Nero and we came back into the town of Manchester center Vermont we were fortunate enough to have a trail angel shuttle driver just kind of happened to be there by accident and gave us a free shuttle in the town and let's see we're eight 1840 feet in elevation but again day 126 right there sitting at mile marker 1654 even Roads Vermont 11 and 30 with a 2.8 medical Nero. So I'm sure this one's a short and sweet, just down and dirty. This is what the trail is. This is what's going on. This is what happened. This is where we're at. And that's about all I had for the day. Uh, I showed you a little bit of town, a couple pictures from our walk and lunch and the hotel itself. I did, uh, Tunis and I did go down and soak in the hot tub and kind of, you know, loosen up the muscles and sat in the cold pool. And then I uh, just relaxed after that. Now we're just getting ready for dinner. I'm going to call it a night. But I do want to say thank you to all of you for tuning in and following along. Um, hope you're enjoying the journey with me. We're still pushing north. We're going to get there one way or the other. And uh, hope you all come back for more. And I'll see you in the morning. If you're here in the morning, you know what to do. Set your coffee pots to auto. Get that fresh cup of joe. And uh, enjoy the journey north with us. Again, my name's Kilt. We're through hiking the Appalachian Trail, going northbound in 2021. Have a good night, everybody. I will see you all first thing in the morning. Bye-bye.